Hi, my name is Evan Record, and I'm a senior guide here at International Mountain Guides. Today, the goal of this video is to cover all the gear necessary for a climb of Mount Rainier via the Disappointment Cleaver route. My hope is to keep things simple. We're going to start on the bottom and move our way up. First off, we've got our boots. Any double boot will do, something with a removable liner. Then I use my own insoles. On our gear list, we recommend that you have two to three pairs of socks. I just go with two and I'm diligent about drying them out. I also have a pair of Outdoor Research Gaiters. And the only thing about our gaiters, we just want to make sure they're big enough to go over our boots. Moving to our layering system, I want you to keep something in mind. Three and five. Three on the bottom, five on top. I've got my long johns. I use wool, but a, there are synthetics or a blend of the uh, both, so feel free to choose one. We've got uh, our soft shell pants. They're not the lightest, they're not the heaviest. I avoid materials that won't breathe, and I want these to be able to be worn on a warm day and up high on the mountain. Also something that's durable. I have my waterproof shell pants, and we're not so concerned about which fabric you choose, but we do want to make sure that you have full side zips. That's imperative. They need to be able to accommodate a big mountaineering boot and crampons. Also, a tip about packing. I just say open up that zip and then pack your pants with that zipper open. So, if we get into bad weather, we can just get them on really quickly. Moving up to our five layers on top, I have a wool synthetic blend short sleeve tee with a zipper on it. I'll be wearing that every day, so I want this to be something comfortable and something that fits. I have my long sleeve, long john top with a zip, once again, looking for that versatility in my gear. I have myself a soft shell jacket with a hood. This is a wind stopper material with a fleece lining. And I have my hard shell rain jacket. And then I've got my parka. Two things to think about with your parka. One, you want to have a hood. And two, it needs to be able to fit over these four other layers. Keep that in mind. Here we have our gloves, you want a liner pair, a soft shell pair, something with leather, you can think of these as your work gloves. And you're going to have your heaviest weight gloves, we use the Outdoor Research Alti gloves, and we find those work quite well. For the climbs where the freezing level drops below normal, we also have mitts, so we want to be able to accommodate that. But the Alti glove should cover the majority of climbs we do in the summer. I have myself a wool hat. I've got a buff for protection against wind and sun. Also a ball cap to keep the sun out of my face on the mere snowfield. I'll carry goggles and I'll have my glacier glasses. Moving into our technical gear, I've got my trekking poles, my ice axe, harness, my climbing helmet that can accommodate a headlamp. I have my crampons. Now getting into some of our other gear that will be coming with us on the climb. I have a sleeping bag. The sleeping bag that I use is 15 degrees, but anything from a 15 to 0 is just fine. Down or synthetic, that's fine. We have a sleeping pad here at IMG. We offer our clients pads at Camier and at Ingraham Flats, but if you know that you would like a little bit extra padding or you're concerned about the, your comfort level up high, go ahead and bring your own pad. That's just fine. I have zip sacks for my food, and I've got stuff sacks here that will eventually accommodate this gear. Running through some of the smaller things, I'm going to have a bowl and spoon and any Tupperware container will work just fine. I've got a mug, headlamp, 
with extra batteries, two one liter Nalgene bottles. I've got my personal foot care, Glacier Gel, Blister Medic, Moleskin. Adventure Medical Kits makes great products and that's what we use up on the hill. As far as a first aid kit goes, you don't need something that's heavy. Just lightweight band-aids, your personal foot care, and maybe some ibuprofen if you know you're going to need it. Also, pot potable aqua here. We've got uh, iodine tablets for purifying water up at Camp Mirror. Also, sunscreen, hand sanitizer, lip balm. I have my wet wipes for keeping clean on the mountain, and a toothbrush and toothpaste there, and that will make up my DOP kit. So I'm not bringing much in the way of personal hygiene because it's just a three-day climb. Lastly, I've got my iPod. I think it's nice at Camp Muir and at Ingraham Flats to be able to plug in and relax after a hard day of work to a song or a book or even a TV show. So let that be a luxury item if you like to bring that along. This has been a speed gear check. We look forward to seeing you guys in the future.